Hi, it's a Sunday, uh, it's a bit wet, it's a bit rice day, and it's been a weekend when we've done a bit of this. to do a bit of this. Today is the uh, Adidas City Challenge, it's the one hour challenge today um, that's running for a complete hour um, just see how far we get, it's more endurance space uh, rather than speed but obviously you need to sort of keep it going just see uh, how far we can get first time in 35 years I've ever done an event like this um, so whatever it's going to be a PB um, so uh, Good, bad, indifferent. Uh, it's going to be good. Um, as I say it's a bit wet. Um, actually, it sort of dampens things down a little bit. So uh, that's not a bad thing. I think given the uh, <coughs> last couple of weeks with the uh, high pollen and the uh, and the breathing, that to get some moisture in the air is probably uh, probably a good thing. So uh, uh, the old body might sort of get round it in the end. Um, Feeling good, looking good this morning. Uh, funny enough, brought up to breakfast, and there's uh, <laughs> you and Thomas uh, <coughs> um, diving the croissants, uh, etc. Um, in his words, sounds a tough challenge. Um, so, professional athletes think running an hour non stop is tough. I'll go with that one. Um, it may be tough, so uh, I can live with that. Um, I can't think of a more pleasant uh, journey to uh, a race ever. Um, obviously we've got the Shard there, we're on Lenin Bridge, uh, we've just gone past Tate Modern, uh, Shakespeare's Globe is just over the back there. Uh, that's where we're heading St Paul's. Um, Obviously, that way is up to uh, Westminster, uh, down there is Tower Bridge, uh, Canary Wharf Tower, wow, um, what an inspiring start to a run, um, and it feels beautiful out here, it's pretty quiet actually, um, you know, centre of London uh, this early in the morning. Uh, we could probably appreciate more rather than the hustle and bustle of the uh, the city as uh, as the day wears on. It's uh, yeah, what a what a start for a day. What a beautiful uh, place to be, and you're actually uh, out running in the middle of the city. Uh, you can't complain about this, can you? Really, um, what we do, uh, the sport we evolve with. So um, yeah, let's keep running and let's get to the, uh, the start. Here we are at the uh, start, and um, this is the first wave getting ready. Um, obviously, uh, now it's time we'll see those finish, and uh, I'll be following that route uh, to my hours challenge. And uh, just heading over to the, uh, the, uh, the village and uh, I know what's going on.
Okay, well done. race is off. Um, this is the first wave. Um, I think one some message coming out from seeing these guys running is definitely about pacing. Um, not going off fast, just take it easy, just slowly wind it up. Um, it's a twisty little course this one so um, uh, I think the first 30 minutes just nice easy running then uh, slowly start to crank it up a little bit. Um, there's a string station out there, so I'm just going to keep it sort of, uh, uh, get some fluid going. So, it um, uh, could be interesting. I think um, these guys in the back probably have got it right rather the guys at the front. Uh, unless you uh, probably are a class athlete, you probably keep that going, but uh, I think after a while, it's gonna sort of wear you down a little bit, so uh, these guys got it right. Completed. Um, just off those targets, um, so I actually ran sort of 6.95, not the, uh, the seven we were aiming for, but um, uh, absolutely uh, <coughs> great run, um, great concept. Um, kind of halfway through, I haven't got a clue how many laps I've actually did that sort of uh, mile circuit. It was just sort of going round and uh, round and round and just really sort of keeping it going for the full hour. Um, the legs sort of gave out a little bit, uh, a little bit towards the end, so it's a bit of a have to push on and uh, just have to ease the pace down a little bit. So there's a bit of a glue problem going on there, but uh, yeah, great run, um, great event. Um, certainly twice in a while, certainly again. Um, I'm pleased with it because um, obviously the, the time is going to be an hour anyway. But uh, distance um, 6.95, just a little bit off the um, the, uh, the target seven miles that we we're hoping for. But uh, yeah, pacing wise, everything else was uh, spot on. So the training, uh, the build up, and everything, uh, the anticipation and the target was uh, was great. It was all definitely there. Um, the body quite not functioning as it should have done on the day. Um, uh, didn't feel as uh, springy and um, uh, as flexible as I had, have been, but um, uh, we've had breathing issues, we've had um, uh, the body's been a bit stiff this uh, week, in, especially around the area, and you're getting those glutes, um, so that needs to be looked at. But uh, it's all a work in progress, and um, everything looks sort of positive for future races, so it's just to continue the training and uh, the build up. But uh, hey, um, you know, what a day, what a uh, what an event this has been, and um, especially when you've got a backdrop like that.